I don't know of anyone who saw that movie in theaters. It wasn't a successful movie. Uh, and yeah, no, I saw that on VHS over and over and over again. I think it has some, some just fascinating time travel themes. Uh, one of which is, you know, how, how scary is it uh, to, to have your childhood taken away from you? Have we located the parents? Yes, but Phil, look at the date. I ran it through the computer three times. It was declared legally dead. You're alive. Have I really been gone eight years? How, how great a motivator is it to accomplish a mission to get that childhood back and to, to be able to, to live the years that were robbed of you for this very sci-fi reason? It isn't the next movie, and, and I think that it's it's important that you know I really understanding myself, like what the voice is and what kind of story I want to tell and, and how I want to reach people, and also just becoming a better filmmaker. We think that there is there is more story to be told here. We think that there is there is a world that that can be explored and that that I don't think was explored fully. And also, it's a thirty year old movie and. There's another generation, there's been like five generations since, but you know, my son, uh, who's four, uh, there, there's a version of this movie uh, that's for him. I think there's this whole other layer of, you know, there's just these things that, that kind of grabbed you and, and were indelible for one reason or another. And then as an adult, you're kind of like pulled back in uh, to your childhood and you sort of see it through those eyes again.